Peace. Dollar fifty. Two G. What it is? Two G's being two thousand. What it is being the rest? Yo, sounds live. Yo, this is this is pretty much a continuation of my last broadcast where I was speaking on having a hip hop headquarters one day doing vaccine distribution, doing participating in an automobile industry type of extremes where you know nobody's tapped into the automobile industry the way that I have. You know what I mean? I take a commercial and 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 add lyrics to the add add content lyrical content to the commercial and create a, a a a whole new environment to be in musically you know what i mean nobody's done it i'm the only one that done it you know what i mean so you know that's just one of the realities that i tapped into in the automobile industry and the hip-hop headquarters i was speaking on a situation where i was attempting to get signed on and when i tried to get signed on I didn't get the reaction I expected. You know what I'm saying? I expected to get, you know, recognized on, on first impression. So when I didn't get recognized, I didn't stop there. You know, I went to the news reporting agencies because the, the, the content I generated, the government got ways of getting you aroused to the point of having an erection, climaxing, having kids, just part of the system, tampering with your way of thinking. Leaving you in the days with a blurry vision, abnormal bad dreams such as repeated car collisions, no respect for the living, check out their past destroying entire villages, a country based on killing, built on the backs of blacks with careers making millions, well off, getting their way back in the day they used to chop an arm, a leg, a leg, an arm, a head off, gangsters is what I was saying, they never been to court, and they never getting caught, they not playing, they in the movie making, commercials, radio stations, See how they did the Indian? The same here. Now we African Americans. Taken from one place to another. Kidnapping. Murdered. These are not just allegations. Africans are extremely hard workers. Peace. Dollar fifty. So my content wasn't your usual content. You don't get on a stage with that type of content. You don't you don't be in, in a neighborhood with that type of content after they see you on YouTube and and you get on a Greyhound bus. And you know, and be exposed to the elements of what people would sound like if they saw what you sounded like trying to get signed on. You know what I mean? So you depend on the, the producer at that point. You depend on the producer to, to step their game up and say, well, this content is not your usual content. I'm gonna make sure he's not on a crowded bus. I'm gonna make sure he's not exposed to the old neighborhood that he used to live in, you know, knowing he'd get ready to get signed on. Producers don't have that instinct, you know what I mean, every time. Sometimes they, they have, you're dealing with people that's, that's young and immature, you know, and, and not really responsible. They've never been trained for the job. They, they don't have that type of expertise. So when you're dealing with that situation, I've been through it, you know what I mean? When you, you, you're in that situation, you're on that crowded bus, you're in that neighborhood, you're in a traffic stop, you're in all these situations that, that the producer hasn't guaranteed or made sure you wouldn't be in. So I'm doing a hip hop headquarters with, with the knowing, knowing the facts of, of, of the experience, you know, that, that you would be exposed to unnecessarily. That's why I'm doing the hip hop headquarters because it's not only those facts, it's no training for the artist. The artists don't know how to be an artist. The artists don't know how to be, you know, good speaking on a traffic stop. The artists don't know how to discipline to be a, a, a disciplined artist. Got a million fans, just dropped out of school, just got a million subscriber, subscribers, and, and you don't really know how to, you know, what to tell them completely. You're going to put something together for the club. You know what I mean? You're going to put something together they telling you to put together, and, and you don't know how to handle it. You know what I'm saying? So, my point is, when a producer doesn't sign you on in, in, in time enough to compensate for the difference of what you're actually saying, then they go, the producer themselves go through the extremes. In my situation, a producer went through those extremes, the sexual extremes, the, the, the government extremes, and just wasn't ready for my content, just wasn't capable of dealing with my content. 
the, the, the producer didn't, didn't, wasn't ready, wasn't prepared, wasn't, wasn't experienced enough, appeared to be experienced because I wouldn't be dealing with them if they didn't appear to be experienced. You know, the, the death rate around the producer, the, you know, the, the, the chaos and corruption around the producer. You know, when you have situations like that and, and the producer doesn't respond in, rec in record time, and start getting grabbed for sexual charges and things like that, getting sexual allegations and same thing, same content I'll generate. When you have a situation where the government is watching, you generate a, a, an album like We Legal and the producer doesn't respond accordingly, what you have is a dangerous situation. Your situation is more dangerous because the government doesn't play around. The government doesn't play around. The government can, can steal your identity. They could change your, your options, your resources around and, and say you only got one view for this video. This video that I'm making right now, you can only have, we're gonna give you one view. We're gonna, we're gonna touch into your emotions. YouTube, the government, YouTube. I'm YouTube Corporation, I own YouTube Corporation. Nobody else has YouTube Corporation. I have YouTube Corporation. When I chose to name my, my channel YouTube Corporation, it was based on YouTube not having no, no YouTube don't have a, 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 a setup where you can go to YouTube and say, listen, uh, somebody gave me a copyright strike, somebody did this, somebody did that, and you, you actually talk to somebody. It's always a situation where they, they giving you content strikes and you don't talk to nobody. You don't know who you don't know who to talk to. You don't have no you know that you can appeal it, you can do all of those things. But you know the, the point that I'm making is it's not as it's, it's not as, you know, you don't, where's the manager? You, you don't have that. You, you just have to put your appeal and write in and type it in and, 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 and email them and, and they email you back or something like that. Some, 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 and you may never get an answer or anything. It's, it's just one of those situations you don't want to be in. So being in that situation and, and having a producer not, acknowledge my album in record time. It's so crazy for, you know, you just say, what, what's going on with this producer that he's not gonna show up in record time as if my, my content wasn't real. Dinosaurs stomped out graves, man-made slaves, up to date, those are their ways. They used to live in caves, not the Caucasus Mountains. That's the white man, or should I say, that's the white face that the nation was built on. Now we got black prominent leaders, ministers, Farrakhans. They said that the Red Sea was parted. I want in, I want to, I got the will regardless. I want to win, I got the, I, I, I'm not a god. A law born coach of the vine. Call me a newborn, I'm honest. The words that I spit, I spit holes through a cottage. I'll melt any cheese. Heat you with Fahrenheit, cool you with degrees. I exist, dollar fifty, peace. And when you're generating that type of content, you want the acknowledgement because then you go, you get get on this Greyhound bus, and they saying, who is he supposed to be? Who is he supposed to be? We we on this bus, and you you know we don't we don't know you like that, like you know. You, you gotta survive this bus ride. You gotta survive us, we realer than you. Because what makes us realer than you is we, we, we know what you're doing and, and we don't care what you're doing. You know what I mean? We don't care what you're doing and, and, and we want the money you get before you get it. It's just like that. The neighborhood, the bus, the traffic, the police, everything is around you in a way that you exposed to the elements. You don't have no no law and order or, or no way of uh, of knowing your situation is going to be protected by the producer. The producer's not that real. The producer's real within reason of you being in the producer's office and the producer's environment, 
but you're not in the producers environment when you need the discipline 